Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley. In today's video, we have Slaying the Dragon with Berusia Dortmund. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leave a like, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. It's much appreciated. So it's been a hot minute since I last recorded this series. I have played through quite a bit, mostly because nothing too crazy was going on. So I figured, why, why not? But our form is good. Our form is very good, to be exact. If you want to take a quick look, we're only two points behind Bayern Munich when it comes to the Bundesliga. We are very close to them, which is awesome. Our form has been has been great. The Bundesliga, yeah, we're we're playing good football. What what else is there to say at this point? We are two points behind. There's seven points that separate us from third place. So yeah, things are good. And when it comes to the Champions League, things are good there too we finished top of our group and our group had club rouge psg who didn't qualify for the next round of the champions league and milan the only loss that we actually had was against psg and it was the last match of the group stage so at that point we played a rotated side it was away we had already qualified so it didn't really matter they needed to win and they needed to milan to lose and didn't go their way Oh, well. And it's actually funny because Erling Holland is actually with them too. So very, very fun. So again, looking at the Bundesliga here, Mason Greenwood has been remarkable for us so far. In 15 appearances, he has 14 goals, 3 assists. He has been lights out. Very happy with that signing. Uh, Marco Rios has been also a good player for us. Uh, he has a 7.82 average rating. 7.82 average rating, which is insane. So 13 appearances, 6 goals, 9 assists. So he leads it in assists. Our defenders are all playing good football. Honestly, our squad is just solid all the way around. Ryan Gravenberch has been tremendous as a playmaker in the middle of the field. 5 assists, 7.08. He has started... Most of the matches at this point, Jude Bellingham is beside him, of course. And our back four is actually doing pretty well. I'm actually fairly happy with it. Uh, Luca Nets doesn't look like it because he only has a two and a half star current ability, but he's got five star potential ability. And honestly, he is playing like that kind of player. He's a 7.01 average rating, 14 appearances, one assist. I'm very happy with how he has played for us thus far. Also, as defenders go, Lazari is doing well. And Taylor Harwood Bellis is also playing good football. He's only had seven appearances. He's more of a squad player. But still, 7.03, not shabby for a 20-year-old wonder kid. As far as transfers go, I don't believe I did much else. Ah, yes, I did bring in this Jude Sunsup Bell character from Chelsea. Uh, for $17.5 million. Figured didn't hurt. He's gone off on loan. Well, you no, know, he's with. He will go on loan. Forget where, where he's going to go. I think I'm waiting to find out. But figured it didn't hurt to actually do something like that with him. Or sign him or bring him in. Because he is a five-star potential player. Striker. And he would fit well into my two-man system. Because he is a pressing forward. Other than that, though, it's been a good run. Form has been awesome. The World Cup did just happen. So I'm just going to review that quickly. And then and then after that, we will play Bayern Munich. We play them away. So that's unfortunate. So just take a quick look here at the World Cup in Qatar in 2022. England ended up winning that. And we'll get to that final match that made England win in a second. Well, let's just take a quick little look to see how things played out. Group A, Spain and Ivory Coast beat out Qatar, who did not win a single match in Paraguay. Not surprising there. Uh, France and Sweden had Group B, with Australia and the U.S. not being able to progress. No surprise there. This is a tough one. Portugal and Brazil beat out South Korea and Romania. Italy and Holland beat out Colombia and DR Congo. Uh, big surprise here. England and Senegal beat out Jamaica and Japan. Japan, man, what's going on with you guys? Croatia and Uruguay beat out Angola and Wales. 
Belgium and Argentina had their way with Costa Rica and Algeria, poor Algeria. Then Group H, Germany and Iran. Really, Iran, good for you guys. Beat out Mexico and Austria. That I did not expect. That's a round that I did not see happening. And then second round, Spain beat Sweden 2-0. France beat Ivory Coast in extra time. Portugal beat Holland. Looks like Italy beat Brazil in penalties. England beat Uruguay. Croatia over Senegal. Belgium over Iran. And Argentina over Germany. Wow, the Germans didn't even make it to the quarters. Crazy. Next, Spain beat out Italy. France beat out Portugal. England beat out Argentina. And Croatia over Belgium. This one is a wild one. Croatia 1-0 over Spain. And then England 5-0 over France. So going into the final, England beat Croatia 5 5-3-0. Five, but looking at the scorers, Mason Greenwood with the hat trick. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. So that, in my opinion, that's pretty cool. Mason Greenwood makes us look good here at Bruzia Dortmund. I am very pleased with that. He is an all-star. But enough of that. Let's jump into this match and see how much of an all-star he actually is when we go and play Bayern Munich. So we're going to go with, uh, I, I forget when I last recorded what formation I was using, but I have been using a 4-2-4 gag and press. Um, I'll probably play with the balance mentality today just because we are playing away at Bayern Munich, and I just want to see how the match goes first. But advanced forward-wise, it's always Mason Greenwood and Bellotti. Bellotti is being awesome for he is awesome. He's doing awesome. 14 appearances, 9 goals, 6 assists, 7.62. Like, he is a good player. We're only getting him for $6.5 million. Unreal signing. Uh, Coman and Malin will be our two wingers with Gravenberch and Bellingham in the middle with Nets, Kaiki, Nianzo, Lazari. So, unfortunately, what's what's going on with you, Zaga, though? He is still unfit, and Hummels is not 100% fit either. So Zegado and Hummels are usually our starters there. But uh, Kaiki, our young Brazilian, 18-year-old Brazilian, he's getting the go. And Nianzo is our 20-year-old Frenchman. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. With Le uh, Levakovic in net. Levakovic is he, uh, he's obviously an international for Croatia. And he's doing okay with us. I... I'm always looking for an upgrade potentially, but the price tag that he has, how can I, I don't know. It, it's hard when we only have so much of a transfer budget. Do I want to spend on a goalkeeper when goalkeeper's not really our weakest spot? Eh, not really. Could I use an upgrade? Potentially, but everyone needs an upgrade somewhere, right? So anyways, this is the match. We are here in Munich, and let the match begin. It Going back to the Champions League, it is funny that PSG was in our group, and they finished third, so they'll go down to the Europa League because Erling Haaland is one of their strikers. Obviously, he's left us for greener pastures, and there he goes, losing to us and not being able to progress. So, it's whatever. Let's get this underway. Gravin Birch with the in-swinger. Oh, Bellotti. That. Bellotti, you got to score that, my man. That is all you. That is all you. There's no reason why that should be missing. No reason, my man. Kimmich to Lewandowski. Uh, Lewandowski, don't like when he touches the ball. Muzala. Abacano. To Pavard. Goretzka. To Moller, Sane, to Lewandowski. They're pretty crowded there. Holy Kimmich. Kimmich's got space. We're definitely defending more narrow, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, Sane. Oh, Moller. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, this is when having Matt Hummels in the squad would have been helpful. Center back with a little bit more experience. Because our young duo kind of got whirled around there. 
Like, we had so many defenders there. There's no way they should have been passing in front of goal that easy. But, alas, they did, and they scored. And they're up 1-0. But, eh, whatever. Nets is already tired. Are you serious? I am going to go a little bit more positive mentality, though. And let's go demand more right now. And Zagado can come on. Okay? Just go with that for now. Kimmich gives it to Motor. Motor to that guy. And Kimmich going to cross. Going to Lewandowski. Oh, he's got. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. I was a tad worried there. Okay, going into to halftime, down 1 0. Not the best, not the worst. Like, I still don't like it. Bilotti should have had that goal, that header. Mm, it's too bad. Okay, here we go. Second half, second half. Kimmich gets it to Sane, Sane to Muller. They like that right side of the field. Lewandowski. Lewandowski's looking to pass it to Muller. Lewandowski's going for a little bit of a run. Oh, they thread the needle. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky at the post. Oh my goodness. Lewandowski's really kicking himself for that. That. Nine times out of ten, he probably would have scored. So, lucky for us, he didn't. Gravenberch gets it up. Muller clears it out. Coleman is trying to find the ball and finds it. He does. What are you going to do now? To Kaiki, to Nianzo, to Bellingham. Bellingham to Malin. Malin gets it to Coleman. Coleman's going to shoot. Oh my gosh, what a save. What a save. I for sure thought that was going in. Grabbing Birch again. No one. Oh, I thought that Coleman shot was going in for sure. That is disappointing. But, say la vie. Things happen. Ah, oh, now Kimmich gets a corner. Great. Oh, I thought that was going in too. Pavard should have scored that, honestly. Heads it wide. Alfonso Davies. Goretzka. Sabitzer. Lewandowski. All right, what's going on, boys? Get the ball off them. Sane. Sane back to Muller. To Muller. Goes wide to Davies. Davies has got space to roam. He's got Lewandowski out in front. Going to get the cross off. Gets it to Musal Muslala. And, oh, Lewandowski had another opportunity there. But. He was offside. Thank goodness. Take a hike. Time to make some changes. We're 70 minutes in. And let's go. Ooh, Malin is having a rough go of it right now. Honestly, Mason Greenwood is too. So is Kaiki. Oh, we're having a lot of players that are just like having a rough time. Uh, What to do, what to do. You know what? I'm going to leave it at that for now. Honestly, Coleman's going to have to come off. Probably in a moment. But if I can leave him on. Bellingham's having a bad match. Everyone is. You know what? I need, a, I need, I need fresh attackers. Should I just do it? Mus Musla. I can't say that. I can't say that name at all. Goretzka gets the molar to Sane. Sane shoots. Oh my gosh. What a pass. What a pass. What a goal. Jamal Musiala. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right? That's fine. They're clearly still a better team. And uh, the likelihood that we are able to surpass them in the league is slipping away. Second place is where we belong, apparently. Oh, leave Bellingham. Coleman needs to come off. Tired, supposedly. Reyna, fine. Reyna, go on. Go on. That's all my subs, right? Yes. Ugh. Disappointing. And just like that, we are losers. Honestly, it's... It just goes to show that we're not there yet. I am disappointed. We should have been top of the table after that. It was a great opportunity for us to finish... Well, go somewhere. There's still lots of season to be had... But the likelihood that they're going to lose some matches, eh, I don't know. Like, who's going to beat them? Wolfsburg? They could. But I don't think they will. Our goal difference is better than theirs. Not that it matters. But, yeah, that's just the that's the hard thing. Like, who's going to beat Bayern Munich if we can't? Borussia and Gladbach? 
FC Osberg? I don't think so. Well, that is unfortunate for us. Oh, something I forgot to add. The first knockout round of the Champions League, we drew against Barcelona. So that's unfortunate for us. Barcelona is currently second in La Liga. And they're pretty much first. It's by goal difference at this point. So they're still a strong squad at this point. Let's be honest. They're, they're doing just fine. Ter Stegen is doing Ter Stegen things. Mm. Can't touch him, though. Holy cow, that's a big asking price. But regardless, whatever. We'll leave this video here. When will I come back? Great question. Probably for Barcelona at this point. Yeah, I'll come back from Barcelona. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like it, subscribe to the channel. Like it, subscribe to the channel, comment, all that fun stuff, because I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.